just found myself using yellow a lot. Mm. And when I, when I went down to research why exactly this is coming out of me, mm. then I can uh, d d d try to do a flashback in my life. Mm -hmm. There was a time when I was not uh, really spiritual, mm -hmm. but when I got spiritual, this came out naturally that I was using yellow, okay. a lot of it. All right, so how long does it take you to come up with one particular figure? For example, this one is too large, if I may say. Yeah, it's huge, and sometimes it uh, requires you to do a little correction here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, as you will hear from many other artists, mm -hmm. like uh, the best artists that ever existed, mm -hmm. people like Leonardo da Vinci, mm -hmm. they would still say that most of the perfect works are incomplete, mm -hmm. meaning it really never takes time to create art, mm -hmm. but it takes patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where do you take? Where do you find your materials from? Where do you get your materials from? I most of the times buy materials from textbook center, mm -hmm. uh, using acrylic paints, which I buy mostly from yeah textbook center, mm -hmm. and I also buy canvas from Rivertex, and I take my uh, wood from my nearest timber yard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, drawing, of course, entails maybe the use of a pencil as sure. you do your sketch work. Are there different pencils for this work? Maybe for shading some lights, or maybe just for highlighting? Uh, sorry, I did not categorically specify the stage of art, which this is. This is painting, mm -hmm. which uh, really much deals with paint and mm -hmm. brush and mm -hmm. canvas. Mm -hmm. uh, which the, pr the primary stage, which is sketching, mm -hmm. is what you're talking about. It deals with a lot of pencils. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a lot of sketches for these works, most mm -hmm. of them have to be sketched first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before you come up with something good like this, you have to sketch it. It's like a plan for a house. All right, let's talk about that particular photo that our viewer has on the screen right now. What inspired you to drawing that photo? Well, uh, that's a close friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a commissioned piece. Mm -hmm. uh, this is when uh, some client comes to you and tells you, well, you do so nice pictures, I want one for myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I choose, I go mm -hmm. through their folio and pick up uh, best pictures that they probably have and uh, do work out of it. All right. I can see the, the colors are coming out uh, really well. Maybe we can have a look at the next photograph. Yeah, that one. I liked that one. Really? What's with the, l the red top? Well, uh, that's called oil pastel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I mix media, like when you're cooking cake, you don't need to use flour only. Mm -hmm. You could mix a little bit of sugar, a little bit of lemon, and blah, blah, blah. So sometimes in art, it, it's like cooking. Mm -hmm. You have to mix a little bit of spice here and there so that you make it appealing. And that what we, that's what we call, it's an element of design, which is called, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a principle of design, actually, which is called contrast. All right, for this particular lady, yeah. you decided to use black and white. Yeah. Why didn't you use color on her face and use black and white for the top? And maybe the yellow that you're talking about? <laughs> well, color doesn't change. Mm. Color doesn't change. Your skin color doesn't change. Maybe if you try to change it, mm -hmm. but uh, you can change the color of your dress. Right. So, uh, and sometimes to achieve uh, certain levels of differences, mm -hmm. I was trying to emphasize on the, the body and not uh, the face, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, let's l have a look at the, the other one right there. I can see the sun rays. And the tree. What inspired you to doing this photograph? Well, this is a commissioned piece which uh, I did it for the C Christian Union of uh, 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 the Technical University of Kenya. Mm. And uh, they needed a piece which uh, was speaking about uh, um, spiritual matters like the love of God and uh, so on so um, the light Jesus says that he is the, the way the light and the life so I chose light in this picture to represent uh, what they wanted me to do alright yeah. uh, generally what inspires you to doing this particular art you chose this part of art what inspires you well, I usually say this statement mm -hmm. that every other person has been called to be a co-creator with God. 
So it inspires me so much if somebody can bring something out of themselves mm -hmm. which expresses what they are. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what, the, what God did. When he created us, he brought us out of him. And so I'm inspired by God. Uh, do you go with maybe the clients? I might come and I tell you what I want to get, right? Do you go with my taste or um, you always have something for your clients in I, mind? I always do what the client wants. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about capital. So many young people are interested in getting into this. I've, I've found friends of mine even drawing photos of every friend they have. They want to start a business, but capital is the problem. Where did you get your capital? I don't totally or entirely depend on uh, fine art to pr provide my finances. I do other things like I make furniture, mm -hmm. I, 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 I design uh, music art covers, mm -hmm. I do interior design. So right. it comes from many streams rather. So all that the same person and still you're a student. Yeah. How do you manage to do all things, these things and make sure that maybe this segment doesn't like underweight, underweight uh, the other one? Well, it's, it, it, it's, in, it, it's involving a lot of discipline that I had to cultivate in myself. Mm -hmm. You just have to stick to the plan and not change, but sometimes you have to be flexible. So I'd rather say it's discipline. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to money. Is this a business that I can start with a few coins? Well, if you have the talent, why not? <laughs> It's a business that somebody can start with. How, how small do, does my capital have to be to start this particular business? Okay, okay uh, let me say, if you, if you want to start a serious art business, then you talk like you're putting up a shop. Mm -hmm. And that would cost you up to like 200000 because uh, if you want to put up an art shop, you have to advertise yourself, you have to get yourself materials, you have to make the space appealing. It's like you're creating a gallery where you display your work. Mm -hmm. So rent will have to go into it, you'll have to pay bills for electricity, you'll have to buy materials. Right. I mean, so it takes uh, yeah. est an estimate of 200,000. Okay, I'm assuming you don't do all this work alone. So have you employed people to maybe help you or have you partnered with people to make sure that this business is sustained? I don't really look at this career as uh, a money sources that we're speaking because sometimes it's not all about the money. But I have friends who we work along with. I have uh, artists whom we spend time in school together. I have people whom I live with, uh, like uh, Timon and Diego, who we really have enough time with. We share ideas. I ask him, is this appealing to your eyes? Because sometimes you need to uh, listen to people's opinions so that you really understand uh, where, where are you heading? You say you cannot recommend someone to enter into this particular line of business. You said it's not profitable. It's why, why are you still doing it if it's not profitable? Well, as you have many fingers, some are not so useful sometimes. But that's that, 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 that doesn't mean that you cut your finger off. Mm -hmm. So I'm not cutting this off because I know this is a, 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 it's a long-term project. Art is like good wine. It stays and then it becomes best at its old state. Yeah. So I, I'm sure that this is going to be worth your while in the future. It's going to be a fortune in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking at what I'm going to put in my mouth today. I'm investing in this because I've pictured ahead of me like 20, 25 years ahead of me. Mm -hmm. So um, <coughs> what was your, your favorite maybe picture that you've ever done? It's your favorite since you began this particular job. Wow. <laughs> and is it here? Maybe we can have a look at it. Oh, no. It's <laughs> gone. It's gone. Mm -hmm. I don't have it here. What? I have two favorite pictures. What did it entail? Uh, one is called the River Opportunity, River of Opportunities, mm -hmm. which was covering, uh, I, I think it's there on my Instagram handle. Uh, it covers trees with a golden river, uh, which is weird. All right. And uh, the other one was called uh, Sondu Miriu, which was also covered by the Safaricom calendar for this, this month. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, so how much did you sell it for? It's not been sold yet, but it's being auctioned. I don't know what price. So how easy is it for you to come up with prices? Does it depend with the size or does it depend with the design that the client wants to get? Uh, well. Prices depend on the artist, the size, a, a lot of many other uh, things determine the price. All right. 
if I want to join you in this particular industry, what qualities do I need to satisfy? What skills do I need to have? Even before I start thinking, I want to start drawing. Well, you first need love in you. Mm -hmm. You have to love it so that it comes out naturally. Everything that you love, you will be patient with it. You will be a kind enough. You will not insist on wanting your own to come out. Mm -hmm. But it will naturally come out of you. If you love it, you will do it to your best. And things will just come out like a spring. Uh, let's talk about the challenges. Every particular business has got its own challenges in its dimension. So what challenges have you had as you go through this line of business day in, day out? The piece which is right behind me mm -hmm. can explain it all. <laughs> I call it the mountain or <laughs> the mountains of life. All right. Uh, this piece, behind every layer of paint on mm -hmm. this piece, mm -hmm. There was a painting, mm -hmm. at least two. Mm -hmm. First time I painted a sea on it, I thought it wasn't uh, really looking good, so I brushed it off mm -hmm. and started painting something different. I painted a cityscape on it, then I brushed it off again, mm -hmm. and now here we have a mountain. Mm -hmm. So it's generally explaining that sometimes in art you think you're putting the right concept down, but it's not exactly what you want to want want to bring out. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you'll have a difficulty of coming up with a perfect composition for what you think is going to be good for your audience. Mm -hmm. That's one problem. Another problem is sometimes it takes too long to sell pieces mm -hmm. because nobody's really giving attention to you because probably you don't have a name out there for art. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes also, ex uh, the, especially the past two years, the materials have really shot in price. So they are really expensive. And sometimes I've used really expensive materials and somebody tells you you know i have this amount but if you compare it with the materials you've used it's way expensive mm -hmm. yeah so i think there are many other problems which i cannot speak about right now because it will be a long list all right can you like adjust to demand if maybe clients want to get maybe like 20 like figures for maybe tomorrow how adjustable is that for you <laughs> That's where my friends come in. I have artists whom we do work with. If somebody told me they wanted 20 pieces today, mm -hmm. I would call in my two friends, mm -hmm. but I will do like 15 and then let them do the five. All right. Uh, so in the next like two, three years, where do I expect to see Okea or Thiambos at? I guess one of my pieces should be in your house, probably. Yes, or it has <laughs> to be my photo, of course. Okay, that's that's <laughs> deal, that's a deal. Well, uh, with my art career in the next two or three years, mm -hmm. I shall have developed uh, my technique to perfection because mm -hmm. I've picked up really fast because most of these are put up in less than six months. All right. And uh, in the next two years, I think only God knows where I'll be. You must have a slight idea where you want to be. I, okay, I, I want to be everywhere because <laughs> if, if this year I found myself on the... On, I, I found myself the youngest artist featured in uh, the 2019 Safaricom uh, This Is My Kenya competition, then it means that in the next two years, I'm going to be a big fish. All right. Uh. So every particular challenge that you faced in this particular sector, where do you th think the government should step in to enable young people to be willing to be part of this particular platform? Uh, the government is doing everything possible to make sure that everything goes well for the youth. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm glad the curriculum has changed because, you see, this is a talent which I could have developed way back in the past, right. but I didn't because uh, it was not there in that curriculum. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if it was, it was not really emphasized. Mm -hmm. So I think the government already is putting in uh, good work. That's a thumbs up to uh, our leaders there, including the president, because mm -hmm. he's doing good job. Uh, his team have made sure that people are coming back to their roots, which was there in the past. Now, uh, w w my single request is mm -hmm. uh, that they should really emphasize on this. If they're serious about it, it could take us places, because uh, up, up, up in the other countries like US, these are things which are taken really seriously, and they stream a lot of money from them mm -hmm. to the economy. All right, do you think this can take Kenya to the next level that we want to get? Well, that makes me ask you a question. You know Leonardo da Vinci? Mm -hmm. What if he was a Kenyan? 
Well, they would have been summoned. That's food for thought. So yeah. I think this is something worth giving a try for the okay. government. All right. Maybe your final word to any young person that is out there and they're willing to indulge into this particular line of business, make money out of it, make a living out of it, your final word to that young person that is there waiting for you to inspire them. Well, to anyone who uh, is willing to get into this, my word would be, look for God and he will show you the way because this did not come out of me I was lost somewhere in the world mm -hmm. and when I saw the light I started appreciating nature and I'm thinking that in the next few years I'll be preaching using paintings mm -hmm. yeah thank you so much for coming through it has been a pleasure to host you that has been Okea Othiambo a fine artist and who is doing quite a good job in the industry he has told you not to give up, use what you have to start the idea that you have in mind, and always remember to put God first in everything. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. My name is Yvonne Anula, and coming up next is the Forex Report.